Hi, it's Claire Hartman here. I just wanted to shoot this quick video today um, just about something that um, that happened yesterday and uh, just to share a few of my insights onto this into this with you today. So yes, I don't watch an awful lot of television to be honest with you. There's a couple of reasons why. It's probably over the last sort of year and a half since I've been doing personal development. I've realised that it's really vital to how you get on and how you deal and cope with life as to what you feed your mind continually on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, I'm very selective over what I tend to watch. I don't tend to watch the news anymore or read the newspaper because it's just basically reporting a lot of negativity. And the more you feed your mind with that, the more negativity just seem to turn up into your life because I'm quite into the, the law of attraction. So for me, the personal choices, I don't tend to watch too much um, of that type of TV or too much of the... Um, like Jeremy Carl type TV or EastEnders or things like that because you're literally feeding your mind with oh, rubbishy stuff so be very mindful of what you actually feed your mind on a day-to-day -day basis so I do tend to watch a little bit of reality TV still now and again because I find it quite good fun quite entertaining so that's the only little uh, um, vice I have on a Saturday night watching a bit of Take Me Out or a bit of um the the voice which I quite enjoy because I do like to see people living their dreams or falling in love because I'm a bit of a romantic so I'll get back to my story last night I was on my laptop doing some some work on the internet in fact setting up my new capture page do check it out at pageyoudaily.com tell me what you think so I was setting up my new capture page and hubby was watching the telly well I think he was it was on in the background then he went to bed and he left the telly on and I just was carried on what I was doing and I, I didn't actually turn it off but I did overhear some bits and it was a program about I don't even know what it was called but it was about people that um uh, struggling some celebrities were spending some time with them and helping them try and um see things from their point of view and how they're struggling and how they can't pay their bills and how they can't feed their kids and how they haven't got any work and things like that which is fine because I know everybody's on their own journey and everybody's got their own story um, of where they've come from their reasons but I must admit something I heard really did um, set a little trigger off of me and really got me a little bit annoyed there was a lady that was uh, talking about not being able to feed her family and feed her kids and yet she was puffing on a cigarette now I know that if you are in a, a state of depression and life's pretty tough then sometimes you do want to cling on to what gives you a tiny little bit of pleasure so the glass of wine or the cigarettes and things like that however for me if there's a choice between feeding your children vegetables and having a cigarette, then it's a no-brainer. So this this did upset me a little bit. And I did write a Facebook status about it and I had some replies from different people. The, the thing behind this is that it makes me more and more determined that I want to help people that actually want to help themselves. There are other possibilities out there for things that you can do to turn your life around. And working on yourself is crucial to this, but I know some people don't know where to start. So I really really want to reach out to the people that don't know where to start and to offer them a way, offer them a solution and offer them, um, you know, the journey, the possible journey that I've been on. You know, I've, I've had difficult times. I've lost a twin sister. I've had postnatal psychosis and a complete mental breakdown. So I have turned my life around. And I know it is possible. It's not easy, but it is possible. So um, if you are looking for change, and I'm only looking to work with people that are looking for change, then I am here and I am willing to help you. So if you want to check out what I'm doing now, and I will um, help you lead you down a life of personal development as well, because that is crucial, then you can absolutely change your life around. So you can find me at workwithclaire.com and you can also find details of the programme that I'm successfully working at the moment at www.pageyoudaily.com. Personal development completely turned my life around and I'd love to introduce other people to it. So check it out. Remember, always think and feel positive. There is always another way. You do have choices. You can choose how you react to any given situation and you can literally make your day. So if I can introduce people to the law of attraction and personal development, then on a larger scale, much larger scale, then, then that is my, my purpose and that's what I'm here for. So I shall hopefully reach out to you soon. See you later. Bye.